Five Guys. Mrs. Guru Murthy, how are you? Hello. Well, welcome, thank welcome, you. welcome. Lisa, how are you? I'm very well, thank yes. you. Hello, how are you? Very well, thanks. Yeah, Ravi, how are you? Hello. Good to see you guys. How are you feeling? Nervous, Nervous as hell. Now, who is the most talented chef? Who is it? Mum. <laughs> she's the only one who knows what she's doing. Meet tonight's family brigade, the Guru Murthys. Mrs. Guru Murthy loves cooking almost as much as she adores her competitive sons. Political speechwriter Ravi. And news anchorman Krishnan. Joining them in the kitchen is Christian's Aussie wife, Lisa. At home, she does most of the cooking. These mummy's boys have got to get their ass into gear if they're going to cook a three-course dinner for 50 people. All right, tonight's about perfection. Behind you, there's 50 customers. The objective, across the evening, to make sure that every customer pays for all the starters, all the mains, and all the desserts. Rav, what's the menu? Uh, rabbit. <laughs> Is that it? Rabbit. <laughs> Give me a little bit more than that. Uh, rabbit risotto. It's wild hey. rabbit risotto. Wild rabbit risotto. That's right. Gordon. Yeah. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to say fuck there, but it wouldn't come out. Now, no swearing. Your mother's here, yes? Yep. The rabbits, um, they've been poached gently. As you know, it's a very lean meat. OK, we're going to start off by sweating off the shallots and the garlic. Yeah. In. Now, the secret here is to sweat them off with no colour. Rice in. Now, you can see these little bits of white grain in the centre. That's al dente. And then we add our hot chicken stock one layer at a time. The secret is not to flood the risotto. If you boil it, it starts to lose its creaminess. You can see the texture now. See? Yeah. Yeah? We're going to start seasoning uh, the risotto, yeah? Lightly with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. A little bit of parsley in there now. That starts to darken the risotto. While garlic, be very careful with this stuff. Very, very strong. Rabbit in, or butter, then our creme fraiche. A little bit of lemon, and watch. As we start to sort of work the risotto, got this really nice creamy texture. Mm. I'm just looking to finish it off now. I don't want it too wet, but look, it's just coating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. just. Looks great. On, and then just a nice little drizzle of olive oil. Cook with passion, they're going to love it, they're going to pay for it, yeah? Cook without it. They'll be walking out. Mm. Right, off you go. Guru Murthy Brigade, yes, on order four cup of table ten, four risotto, four lamb, four savion. Four each? Or One four. four. One four. Okay. That's right. So two each. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Right, how right. can we take any more? Six here? risotto, six lamb, yeah. six savion. Yes, yes chef. chef. Mrs. Guru Murthy? Sorry. Yes, chef. Thank you. <laughs> right, the keep the pan on the stove, Christian. That way it'll cook. Let me show you my darling. Now, if you push down on it too heavily, oh, okay. yeah, it bruises. Yeah, like that there. Right, so try and keep right, it really right. nice and light. Light, yes. Garlic, yeah, you'll do six. Christian, you've got five. Ravi, you've got four, yeah? yeah? Parsley and garlic is chopped for both of you behind here, yes? Good, 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 good. Parsley and watch out. Yeah, yeah, fine. Fuck it, it's around. Are you all right? That's yeah. bad. Fine. Oh. Fuck it. Don't worry. You should have taken the bigger fan. We've got a. Um, yeah, I've got two, that one is okay. Right. You know how you did it? No. You, you moved did. back and knocked him. Did I do that? Yes. Don't worry, yes. don't worry. Oh. Open that up. You, you can't Ooh. call him Ramsey. Um, open that up. Ravi. No, no, it's That's in. not what you do when you're tasty. What? You don't put... <laughs> don't did you put it back in? Video. You don't put it back. Shh. Uh, Ravi, <laughs> no double dipping, yes? Yeah, uh, listen to your mother. <laughs> yeah, pay some respect. <laughs> Try and keep it in the pan, Elise, please. Uh, yeah. How do you two meet? Uh, we met through friends at a dinner party, is the friends. official story, yes. Yeah. Was it love at first sight? Uh, it, yeah, it was, it was lost at first sight. It was lost yeah. at first sight, yeah. Mm. Uh, that looks really nice, uh, Christian, yeah? Ravi, really nice. Check your plates. Good. Very nice. Right, Ravi, would you pay for that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so would I. Let's go. Good, uh, let's go. Yeah. Of course you would. Table three, four risotto. Absolutely delicious. They're not that hot. Start acting like a queen. Move. Right, Janice Reporter is rearing veal calves for the F-word ration. I've told her I want them tender and sweet, just like her. It's another glorious day in the Yorkshire Dales. Mature mother, Janet Street pensioner, has pulled out the stops in her mission to raise two veal calves for my F-word restaurant. Numbers off the back. Ah! You stupid animal! That was really intelligent, wasn't it? <laughs> She's even got her hands on a new 4x4 to help her up to the barn a third of a mile away.
Janet's discovering how hard it is to raise a young family. Oh, Christ. What is that? I'm sorry, you've got the trucks. All they do is poo. Each day, the calves get through 20 oh, litres of milk. Disgusting. There you go. Delicious, slimy milk powder. Janet's been reading up on how to look after her little ones. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that works. Jolly good. See, any trouble? I can hear you. She needs all the help she can get. I'm going to have to make this meat taste as good as possible, otherwise I'll never hear the end of it from Gordon. God, people do some weird things with animals. Every farm at Worthy Salt has a trick to produce the best meat. Each massage takes 20 minutes. Massage with oil. I'm off to Worcester to meet a guy who actually massages his cattle, claims that it produces better meat. Craig, I'm not entirely convinced that meat that's massaged tastes better. Craig has reared relaxed animals from swimming pigs. Oh, my word. Who'd have thought that pigs could swim? <laughs> to massage bulls for over 14 years. One of his specialities is Kobe-style beef, which is massaged daily, sometimes with a dietary supplement of beer. We use an electric massager. It helps to distribute the fat throughout the muscle. So you're saying that Janet get in there and massage them and it's going to make a difference? I think so, yeah. I, it's going to taste better. Right, better get massaging. Holy cow. With technique like that, no wonder she got through four husbands. How will the calves cope when she tries it out on them? We'll find out later. Working up the speed, Christian. Yeah. Right, clean the place now. Oh. Oh. What happened? Touch the pan. Touch the pan? Yes. Hold the piping hard. Get it under water. Uh, Lisa? Yes? That's embarrassing. He covers walls and he I can't even hold a pan kitchen. properly, yeah? I know. He's burnt himself. Go, go, go. Quick, go on. Very good. Very good. Now, look at me. Easy. Clear your ship down. Yeah. Two more now. Yeah. Mrs. Gilmurphy, yes, it's sure. because you don't let them in the kitchen. They're all burning and cutting themselves, yes? <laughs> ah, you've got to move over and let them in. Right, let's go. Christian, are you giving me the finger? Do you mind? <laughs> Last table, yes? Table 12, yes? We may be one man down, but we can get through this. Yeah. Can't we, Mrs. Gilmurphy? Yes. Good. Go. Last two. Well done. Well done. Hey, you yes. were shit. <laughs> OK, clear down. Get ready for the mains, yes? Yeah. Uh, good evening. Good How are we? Good. 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 Yes. How was the risotto? Very good. Yes, yeah. no trouble. Um, eaten rabbit before? Um, no. Good. And we do have a pet rabbit, though. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not after tomorrow. <laughs> um, trust me. It's food in the garden. Um, no, it lives in the flat. Now, I'm slightly confused. Um, your rabbit, is it the vibrating rabbit or the... <laughs> 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 I've enjoyed your main course as much as enjoy your rabbit. <laughs> yes. Uh, the rabbit risotto was uh, fantastic, actually. Big explosion of flavours, lovely and fresh. You can taste the garlic, you can taste the herbs. Um, if anything, there's a bit too much lemon, perhaps. OK, right, now for the most exciting part, yes, the results. OK, Ravi. Here okay. we go. How many out of 50 are going to pay? A 45. 40. Oh, that, that's that confident. That is very confident, yeah? I mean, seriously, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> fucking confident, yeah? <laughs> Mind you, he was out of the kitchen for three quarters of it, so there is hope, yes? <laughs> The results are, out of 50... 46 out of 50! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> that is great! Yes? Well done. Seriously, well done. Next on the menu... Oh, come on. It's time for Janet to massage my balls. The massage Mr Shea is brought on in the attack of the shit. Jack and I get a ferret's eye view of a rabbit hunt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. And I step into the ring with boxer Ricky Hatton for the first round of my healthy appetite campaign <laughs> and get more than I bargained for. I'm done. Yeah. Let's go, place out. Welcome back to the F word. Time for the main Wait. course. Herb roasted rump of lamb. For me personally, one of my all time favourite cuts. Delicious. Score. And just slice through. Anchovies. Rosemary, garlic, stuff, in, salt, pepper, hot pan, olive oil. What we're going to do now is colour the lamb. Oh. 
olive oil, rosemary, anchovies. Hot oven, 12 minutes. Bang. Absolutely beautiful. Rest. Vinaigrette, balsamic vinegar, rosemary, mustard, olive oil, lemon, sieve, carve. That is amazing. Herb studied lamb with warm vinaigrette. Done. Come on, more generous. One more in there, please, Rav. Quick. Yep. What's you got colour on there? Into yep. the oven, yes? yes. Right, Lee, back yep. out. Yep. You tell me what's wrong with that pan. What about the noise? Not, not, not high enough. There okay. you go. Uh, start all that again. Get that pan really hot. Otherwise, you're going to boil the meat. Yeah? Right. Yes. Come on, guys, we can do this, yeah? How is the lamb supposed to end up cooked? The lamb or pink? Pink. We're not doing mediums and well done. We're going to do pink, yeah? First table, we'll do it for 12 minutes now. Yep, it's got to rest, don't forget, yes? Yeah. Christian, you're all right. You look a bit knackered. A long service is longer than 30 minutes in the news bulletin. Just, you know that. Just, uh, oh, 50 minutes, So actually. good to see you doing a fucking full day's work. <laughs> Ravi, yes. think lamb, lamb, yes. lamb, lamb. That yep. second pan should be ready to come out. Yes, excuse me. Yeah. No, stop. This first is the first one, please. Okay. Really important. If we get that wrong, the whole temperature, yeah, is going to go. Right, guys, we're ready to plate up our first dish now, yes? Yep. yep. Yes, sir. Let's go. Ravi, I hope you're thinking about your lamb in the oven. Yeah. You're not overcooking it, yes? Yep. Good. Right, all tonight's recipes on the website, so log on and get in the kitchen. Right. Who's doing the sauce? Me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Never lift it. They're coming out of the oven. Show me. Under cold water. Fucking hell. Don't lift these pans up. Ravi, I thought you'd learn from your big brother's mistake. Medic, please. Yes. And Mr. Gilmurphy, they look beautiful, yes? Really nice, yeah? Well done. Let's go. Go. Table eight. Thanks very much. Come on, Christian. Sorry. Fuck me. Huh? Yeah. Now, you're in the same position that Rafi was in earlier with yeah, the starters, yeah? yeah? We're one man down, yes? Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Right, this year, I'm going to prove once and for all that healthy food can be delicious food. Tonight, I'm kickstarting my campaign with a world class athlete who should know better. This is the poster boy for bad eating, Ricky Hatton. <laughs> otherwise known as Ricky Fatton. He may be a world champion athlete, but his yo-yo dieting is legendary. Ricky piles on an average of two and a half stone after a fight. Incredibly, in 2004, he lost a total of 12 stone, the equivalent of his own body weight. You know, from going to excesses with eating to his body becoming, you know, a, a fighting machine, really. But when he's not boxing, he's binging. He just loves um, his Chinese. He likes the spare rib. It is worrying what the yo-yo dieting is actually doing to his body. I've come to Ricky's local cafe, the Butty Box, to see what one of the world's best boxers eats when he's not training. God help us. Now, this is a local hangout, right? It certainly is, yeah. yeah. This is where Ricky Atten disappears and Ricky Fatten, you know, comes into show. Ricky Fatten, where did that come from? The press nicknamed me Ricky Fatten and they said, oh, he's too out of shape, he's not going to get fit in time and all this, and all I've done is, yeah. is kept proving him wrong. Do you indulge in the kind of, sort of, well, it's like fast food junk food <clears throat> as a treat? It yeah. is a treat. I mean, when you do a 14 weeks training camp, your menu is like the same thing every day. It's your protein shakes, you know, it's your green veg. You start it and you can't <laughs> wait to finish it. I wish I could find the upper medium as, as far as me eating. <laughs> 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 Is that the two of us? Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. <laughs> Does that come with a heart bypass? <laughs> like most people, Ricky associates healthy food with boring food. I'm going to prove to him that he can eat healthily all the time and it can be just as much of a treat as a fry-up or a takeaway. <laughs> to help Ricky eat better, first I need to understand how hard he actually trains. <laughs> 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 Unbelievable. Make sure you strap that fucker on tight. Uh, but don't fucking miss. Uh, I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Ha, ha, ha.
I'm done. Golden, that's for every chef that's ever been on your programme. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whew, I feel sick. Um, it's great. Now I've seen his world. Time for me to get my own back. I'm cooking a dish that's incredibly low in fat, but still bursting with flavour. Right, when was the last time you were in the kitchen? Well, last night, I didn't cook. Bullshit! Now, you, <laughs> when was the last time you worked in the kitchen? I, to be honest, I've never really worked in the kitchen. Skinless chicken, high in protein, low in fat. This soy and rice wine marinade will make it beautifully tender and full of flavour. Touch of salt and pepper. Ten minutes in there, absolutely fine. OK, whilst I respect you're in training, but you got to make it a lot more flavoursome as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. I used to be a fat chef. Yep. Just under 18 stone. <laughs> huh? Bring some chicken stock up to the boil. Kombu seaweed adds flavour and it's rich in iron too. A little bit of ginger. Ginger adds a spicy kick and is great for digestion and circulation. Nice and thin. The thinner, the quicker it infuses. <laughs> hey, thank fuck you're quick in the gym. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. How long have you got it? <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew I'd get my own back. Hey, <laughs> 50,000 people <laughs> shouting, yeah, jeering for it. Who do you listen to? Who can you hear in there? My mum, really. Yeah. And I think just basically down to the fact that my mum shouts some of the most diabolical things you've ever heard in your life. Be careful! <laughs> Forgot about that, you know. Be careful. Yeah, that's going to make a big it, difference. It, yeah, it's him harder. <laughs> <laughs> the shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms. Crap name, delicious flavour. Into the stock as well. Right, sesame seeds. Toast them. Chicken in. Add miso paste for extra body. Buckwheat noodles, they're full of fibre and quick to cook. Right, spring onions. Add some coriander and serve. So spring onions into yeah. the noodles. Mm, fantastic. Huh? Everything you need from an energy source as well. Mm. The noodles, everything. Ricky's been in the kitchen longer than five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Bon appetit. laughs> Daddy made that, you know that? Mm. Delicious. Tasty. Yes. Very nice, Very thank tasty. you. Yeah. Next time, get him in the kitchen. <laughs> he knows how to do it quite easily. Yeah. And you know, you've got it now. <laughs> you've got it. And I won't mention a word to the family about the ginger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Carrots in, peas in, yeah. lamb vested. Yep. Yes? Where's your old pan for the sauce? You threw away. I can, oh, I can get it back. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, Rafi, why are you putting mustard with the carrots? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're losing it. Come on, everybody. Ouch. Ouch. Hey, guys, hey, guys, seriously, concentrate. Come on, Rafi. Ah, okay. oh, okay. shit. Sorry, you're right. What Sorry. are you doing? Fucking hell. Raf. Sorry. Come on, let's go. Right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six tables to go, yes? Yes. Raf, where's your plate? No one's thinking ahead. Come on, guys. Your brothers. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Communicate. Right. OK, good. Now, off there. Huh? OK, Mr. Good Murphy. That lamb is cooked beautifully, yes? I'll do, the, I'll do the honey. I'll do the honey. I'll do the honey. Yeah? On the hot plate. Right, guys. Why are you both putting carrots on the plate? Hey, guys. Put the pan down. Let him do it. Ravi, come on. Why have you guys stopped talking you to each got other? Any space. You haven't got any space. What well, makes space? You're standing there like six, a shelf in a supermarket. Come on. Up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Table, five, Table 11, yes. Good. Don't worry, crushing them. On. Okay, okay service, please. Mr. Grim Murphy, wipe the plates, please. Keep on. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tough, tough that work. That was really I, hard going. But the real star of this kitchen so far is Mrs. Grim Murphy. Oh, shit. Yes. Unbelievable. Right, now more Janet. Has she finally lost her fucking marbles? Janet Street pensioners facing up to motherhood. Every day, come rain or shine, she needs to bring fresh straw and feed up to the calves. Janet's trip to massage farmer Craig's balls has given her a few ideas. And now she's learned that some people even play music to relax their livestock. Massage time. I've got some music. You may or may not like it. Okay. Oh no, he is pooing. All this, all that's happened is 
The most hard for us to shoot is brought on an attack of the ships. Now there's a surprise. Clearly they weren't ready for that. But are they ready for this? Will Jenna's efforts at relaxing my calves pay off with great tasting meat? We'll find out in two months' time. You're getting the full greatest hits next time, you fucking miserable bastard. Those nails are too sharp. So you're, you're stabbing me now. Jesus, I'm doing breaking painful. down the lumps in your the, back. It's not lumps. <laughs> you're tense, you know. Tense, no, it's solid. If okay. you were a veal calf and yes. I slaughtered you now, yes. right. you'd be full of adrenaline yes. and your taste okay. absolutely horrible. Right, so how are my babies? They are fine. Are they growing? They're fine now. I had a bit of a hiccup. What happened? I've got to be hiccup. honest with you. Go on, you took one into bed Well, with you. no, I didn't. <laughs> My sex life isn't that fucking desperate, Gordon. <laughs> one had got pneumonia, oh, called no. the vet out, and he had to give him antibiotics. He's okay now, He's but he okay could now. have died, yeah. So it was a bit heartbreaking, you know. Bloody hell. It is quite common, though, isn't it, Carves, isn't it, to catch pneumonia? Oh, it's yeah, quite yeah, easy. yeah, yeah. He's yes. fine now. He's, called, he's smaller yeah. than Elton. Yeah. I know Elton? They are called David and Elton. Uh, and why did you call them that? Because I got a phone call two summers ago from Elton John to tell me he'd just taken delivery of a brand new puppy. Oh, nice. An what Alsatian. Like? And it was very, very noisy and irritating, so he called it Janet. <laughs> <laughs> and he held the phone out, and all I could hear was. Rah, 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 rah. That's weird. What a bizarre name. The last but... thing oh. I said. And yes. in, in bed every night, please God, make David and Elton healthy, <laughs> relaxed, and gorgeous meat for Uncle Gordon. I'm glad to hear it. Janet, thank you. How are we? Right. Yeah, nice to see you, yes? Welcome. Yes. Right, how was your lamb? The meat itself was a really lovely bit of meat, and yeah. I just think it was ruined because it was too salty. Damn. The peas D and the beans were quite salty as well. Oh, really? And, and everything was we salty? Don't eat, we don't add salt at home, so that may be oh, one of there, there you go. Peas and beans were like... Yeah. There you go. Over. We there you don't go. add salt to anything. So, so everything in your life is bland. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy dessert. There's definitely no salt in there, yes? Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks very much. The vegetables were really well done. The carrots with honey were lovely, um, but the lamb was overcooked and quite dry, which really spoiled it for me. Really. Right, Christian. Yes, is that the hardest you ever worked? That is the hardest thing I've yes. ever done, probably. Harder than sitting behind a desk and reading the news. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. How well do you think you've done? I don't think we've done well at all. I don't think it's good. But here's the thing. Both of you started arguing. You know, uh, big yeah. brother syndrome, <laughs> little brother syndrome. Why have you got that competitive streak in amongst you? Because I'm better than him. <laughs> and, and I'm more successful. <laughs> you showed the boys up. Hands down. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Jokes. Oh, come on. Oh. 18 out of 50. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my so you people are quite new. <laughs> that Bad. is shit. <laughs> With a capital S. Yeah. 18 out of 50, not good enough. For dessert, let's We're get 50 out of 50, yeah? OK. Let's okay. go. That was so full on. That is the most full on cooking I have ever done. I think I did quite well, and Lisa did very well. I think the boys were a little uh, unable to cope with the speed of uh, doing things. That was absolutely awful. I hated every minute of it. And I was about to punch Krishnan by the end of it. <laughs> Mum and my wife are still getting on ridiculously well, and me and my brother are bickering away, uh, blaming each other. Next on the menu, <laughs> Kate Garraway tries to get into pole position in the recipe challenge. <laughs> Would you like to go on the top or the bottom? I want to go on top. <laughs> <I'm t> <laughs> <laughs> and run, rabbit, run. I take my son Jack to kill and cook oh. Bugs Bunny. That stinks. <laughs> what do you mean, it stinks? It's delicious. Right, welcome back to the F Word Now. Time for the recipe challenge, and tonight's contender is Kate Garraway. She's been up since 2.30 this morning, so hopefully she's going to nod off and then lose the challenge. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. What are you doing? I'm doing bread and butter pudding. Which I think is a bit of a cop out because okay. it's not actually that hard. I've I'm just heard, like, madam, yes, yeah. that you're a very talented cook, and this is your best 
dish by Miles. <laughs> You're such a little minx. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, huh? I cook a lot. Yes. I cook all the time. Yes. I lure men by cooking, but my right. husband says I did it on false principles because I used right. to cook for him all the time we were okay. dating. Okay. And oh. I don't really bother now so much because, you know, I just cook for my daughter now. Crust off for me, right. otherwise I think it doesn't go all squishy. Okay, and using brown up. bread. I think brown bread's quite good. Kate's making a classic bread, but putting out brown bread. Um, I'm going to do something with leftover pan of chocolate. Cut them into sort of four or five little slices, and then just a quick butter on one side. You're really quick. Uh, I'm a chef. Oh. <laughs> Where's the recipe from? Mum? Mum, mum, very See? much mum. And my grandma as well, actually. They've all done it. Bless. I'm now buttering the bread really badly. It now looks a little like a bit of a, a bit of a sort of overwashed knicker down here, to be honest. <laughs> it's so nice to see you look as glamorous with a butcher's Thank apron you. over that wonderful dress. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. Now, it's rather sort of asymmetrical. It's a little bit off-centre. You've got one in, one yes. out. Candle. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it this is what it's like. This is actually a symmetrical top. <laughs> Not the top, the apron, my darling. Oh, the apron. Oh, that's, mighty. that's better, right. It's now they're both back in. <laughs> <laughs> have you seriously been up since 2.30 this morning? I have. That's when I get up. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's horribly God. early, isn't it? Do you wake up Derek that time in the morning or do you just get Try up? Try not to, because he gets really angry. He's a bit like you. I was going <laughs> to <laughs> wake him up in the morning. Are you seriously embarrassed being married to a man with the name of Derek? It's funny, but then when you get to know him, it's it sort of suits him, really. Bet, it's kind of just... Do you have to sleep in a separate bed? No, we're, no? Still, we're still clinging on to uh, Christ sleeping in the almighty. same bed. How's the sex life? 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> there's not a lot. The other day, um, Derek was saying there's not a lot at that time. Why am I talking to you about this? I don't want to talk no, about that. I was just that. fascinated. You don't want to marry a morning person, put right. it that way, if you're getting up at half two, because there's not a lot of opportunity. No. And you don't really want to talk or do anything, no. let alone be romantic at that hour of the morning, no. do you? So what time's a good time for sex? <laughs> I was kind of watching. I'd look at my, my look at my watch now, and that would be quite good. But, right, OK, listen, let me just button. You're distracting me with your that's talk all, of that's sex idea. and everything, isn't now, it? Now, I'm <laughs> using a, a really nice apricot jam. I'm going to put my apricot jam at the bottom and on apricot, top. Apricot? Yeah, really? what are you using? I'm using my mum's orange marmalade. It's really strong. Ah, did mum make it? Seriously? She did make it. Honestly? Yes, yeah, she did. Right. I'm going to lie a little layer on the bottom. Who are you on the sofa with this morning? Who are you with? Uh, Mr Andrew Castle. Andrew, bless him. Do you prefer uh, being with Andrew or, or Ben? I like them both. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and is it true that you and Fiona don't get on anymore? What do you mean? We, that's such nonsense, though. We've always got on. I'm putting yeah. a little bit of cinnamon in my custard as well. I know. I have cinnamon in mine, actually. People love the idea okay, of tell me. a big cat fight between girls. I often used yeah. to say that we used to, like, mud wrestle or something yeah. in the morning. And Seriously? Do it. Well, we should do, shouldn't we? Don't Can you, you think? Because people would love uh, it. I would watch that. So, uh, would I'd, you? I'd get up at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> It'd be great, uh. wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, look, you're just coming around to distract me even more. That is looking fucking it's great looking for me. really bad, huh? isn't it? Jesus Christ. Let me just Christ. shut that in really bad, isn't it? No, don't, don't let me stop you. It's like something you I'm feeling, confident. I'm feeling confident, honestly. So you're putting the figs in between. I'm going to put a bit of figs Excellent. and a bit of dried fruit in between, nice. and then a bit of sugar. No, I've made okay. a really nice cinnamon vanilla custard here. At the bottom of my tray, cinnamon, brown sugar, and golden raisins. I don't want them going on top because I don't want them burnt. And the idea now is putting half of my custard in and soaking wow. it through the pan of chocolate. And then from there, spreading some really nice apricot jam on the bottom. That stops it from drying out and keeps the bread and butter pudding nice and moist. I'm going to pour this over now. Oh. It's got eggs mixed up, about four, depending. Yep. I, I'm terrible for not measuring, so I think it looks like it should be about four for the size of this dish. Mm -hmm. Extra thick cream, that's it. Oh, my God, that's so lumpy. Jesus Christ, the lumpy. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like something out of fucking a GMGB staff canteen. <laughs> Holy crap, even the cab drivers don't eat that shit. It's <laughs> all about uh, the tasting. It's all about the tasting. It's not a it beauty competition. Back over again, it's gone all... No, the other side, this time, the other side there. Have you got one bigger than the other? <laughs> 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 Gravity <laughs> is putting me to one side. <laughs> oh, oh my god! I do oh agree. Egg mayonnaise this is not my on best. toast with your mum's marmalade. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna finish mine with a little touch of demerara sugar on top, <laughs> and then a little bit of cinnamon. Yes. Right. Just on top. Oh dear, I'm so sorry, mum. Would you like to go on the top or the bottom? I want to go on top. <laughs> on top. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right, get in there quick. Now. They broke over in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes to cook. Kay has a quick nap. I'm going to wake her up and tell her she's lost. <gasps> now it's time for dessert. It's a baglioni with peach puree. Slice, hot pan, water, vanilla, sugar, blitz, chill, creme fraiche, whisk. Basil. 
into the fridge to firm up. Zabaglioni, egg yolks, sugar, water, peach schnapps, whisk. Beat over boiling water. Chocolate. And finish with a delicious long de chat. And there, uh, sex on a stem. Sabaglioni with peach puree. Done. Here's the thing. Yeah. Great start. Shit middle. A high ending. Yeah? <laughs> yes, okay. Sir. You're gonna work with mum. We're gonna have husband and wife together. Right. Yes? Right. So no more rowing, yes? <laughs> okay, right. Start getting your glasses organized. Christian, try and keep it in the bowl, yeah? Yeah. How Unless much it's oh, this... <laughs> another burn. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite burnt <laughs> enough today. <laughs> I think if we get out alive, we'll be doing well. Come on, guys. Right, let me have a chummy. OK, we'll take it over from your wife then. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> don't stand there and watch right. her. Vaseline, Lise? Yes. Right, so talk to Lisa. Who's putting the spaghetti on? Who's going to put the puree in? Yeah? Can I put the puree in? Um, come on, come on, come on. Right, I do you this put one. the puree in, I'll give you, you, do, you do the... Um... Christian, you look you like you're going um, a little bit dazed. Come on. The other one. <laughs> uh, has the auto cue gone down? That was a decision moment. <laughs> yeah, no, no, come on. <laughs> so you've got to be much more delicate with that. Ravi, are you turning your mother off? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> You're a brave man. <laughs> I don't think she'll take that, trust me. <laughs> uh, up, up, you should up. leave that here yes. on huh? the table. Mrs. Gurumurthy, you tell him. Bravi, behave yourself. <laughs> right, I've shown you how to cook rabbits. Here's how to catch them. I'm with my son Jack and we're on our first ever hunt for wild rabbits. Right, ready? Rabbit is a fantastic wild British game. Farmers consider them pests, but to me, they're a highlight on any menu. I'm hoping today Jack will get to learn how to kill and gut his first Bugs Bunny, which will cook together for him and his mates after football practice. If we're quiet enough, then we might see some of the rabbits pop out the holes. We're going to use the ultimate weapon, one that's been used to catch rabbits for centuries, ferrets. Ferrets do move quite quickly underground, obviously. They're, they're the kings of underground. That's yeah. what they're designed for. Yeah. If you don't want to keep them in a box, Jack, they say a long time ago they used to keep their ferrets down their trousers. So do you fancy trying that? No. I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> they got very sharp teeth. Veteran ferreters Ben and Guy have found a large rabbit warren and have been at hard at work. So we've covered nearly what? Uh, probably 20 holes here. 20 holes, wow. Yeah. So they come out through the net. And then we'll pick it up as quick as you can, hold it by its back legs and just snap the head back and you'll feel the neck break. Ooh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell Mummy. OK. OK. <laughs> now to business. We've put night vision cameras in the burrow and attached a mini camera to the ferret. Ferret cam. <laughs> Jack, the other one's going in now. You know, watch, watch, see? The ferret scares the rabbit to the surface and into the net. At least, that's the plan. But bunnies are fast little buggers and they're hard to catch. There's got to be a rabbit somewhere down there. There should be. She's just got to find them. At last, a rabbit in sight. We thought we'd covered all the holes, but they've got emergency exits at the ready. Shit. Stop swearing. I can't help but swear. I'm shit. telling them. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ready? And that's it. That's it. Done. Jack's proved he can hunt with the best of them. Well done. Looks horrible. Great. <laughs> <laughs> but has he got the guts for this? Make a little cut with a sharp knife up the top. All we don't want to do is cut the guts open. Keep your hands in there. And you just pull it out like that. You know, any of that. And so the only thing left in there is a meat. Kidneys? Liver. That stinks. Uh, what do you mean, it stinks? It's delicious, <laughs> you little bugger. Right, your turn, here we go. Roll up your sleeves. Good boy. Go on. Good boy, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Nice. Straight in there. Excellent. There you go. Hey, you've now gutted a rabbit, caught one. Now let's go and eat one, shall we? Yeah. Let's go. Excellent. Back home, it's almost time for Jack's friends to come over for football practice to be followed by a meal of his first rabbit he's ever cooked. First, we're poaching a rabbit in chicken stock, seasoned with garlic and rosemary. Who's this little fella? My old friend. Where's the head? There. Good. That there, OK. Is it yeah. shoulders? Yeah. Here? Yeah. yeah. OK, here. That's here. 
Here. Uh, yeah. The muscle. In here. That's so we took all the things out. Yeah, there's guts. But look, in here. Pop that out. Mmm. Smell? Mm. What's that? That is his... That's his kidney. Oh, yeah. And so... All this can you eat? We can eat everything. You can turn the pepper, please. I'll put the salt. We're just going to rub a little bit of olive oil on there. And then, Jack, what we want you to do now is just look and rub that through there. Gamey flavours like rabbit go great in a ragu. Whilst the rabbit poaches, we're making ours with pancetta, carrots, mushrooms and courgettes. Add a few ladles of stock from the poaching rabbit and just enough time for a kick around. Ah! Oh, it crossed the line, referee! Come on, Luke! Oh! Oh! oh man. Hey, hold on a minute! Oh! <laughs> Jack! Let's finish the rabbit off. That has poached now. Look at that. Do you taste? I can't stop eating it. The poached rabbit just falls off the bone. Perfect for shredding into the ragu. It's fit for any footballer. Mm. Nice. Mm. Okay, guys, let's go. Rabbit's ready. Right, who's hungry? Me. That smells delicious. Nice. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Who likes some more? Me. Mm. Me. Lovely. Um, has that auto queue ever gone down in the middle of a life? Oh, loads of times. Seriously. It goes, goes down every other day. And what do, you, what do you do? Return to your notes? You know, oh. to be honest, I've been doing it so long that nothing about the news phases me anymore. Yeah. It's probably a bit like you in the kitchen. Because if you know what has happened in the world, Chris... and you know what you've got to tell people, then you just tell yeah. them. Chris, <laughs> you phase me in the kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you got a whisk, Rabbi. you got a move, big boy. Yes. Who's your favourite cook? You are. What about your mother? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, shit. What do your mother think about that? No, my mum's my, my curry is my favourite food. Yes. You want my favourite chef. I, I want the recipe for that, you know that. <laughs> what does Lisa think that you think you prefer your mother and my food to hers, I yes? Think, I think Lisa has oh. no pride on well, that, I, that's I, fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, here we go. Come on, that's fine. <laughs> 11, 5 on 11. Come on, Rab. Whip, 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 whip. Good. Okay. Biscuits in, Lise? Okay, yes. Good. Good. Pass that over and chocolate on top, please. Yeah. Chocolate Biscuits. Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate, yeah. chocolate, chocolate. Oh, chocolate. two brothers are back together. This one's going in his face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, look, look, that is a family affair. Well done. <laughs> Quick, last table, came, yes. Came to... Absolutely brilliant. Cool. Uh, why did you work that fast with the main course? Because <laughs> it was him. Because it was hard. Because it was him. Because it's hard. <laughs> Good. So nice to see you happy. <laughs> yes? Now it's over. Okay, great. Get some water, yes? <laughs> Zappioni was unbelievable. Absolutely. The texture was amazing. Surprised by the basil, but it feels very light, but actually very indulgent. I thought the combination of both basil and peach was really unique and something I've never tried before. It's really light. Now, time for the recipe challenge results and GMTV's Kate Garraway to L-O-S-E. Feeling confident? Never going to happen. Yeah, look. I don't think we even need to have a debate. We don't even need to taste it. It's clear. A clear so, winner. Which is the best bit. Which is the best bit? That yeah. bit under there. <laughs> if you beat Warm. me on this challenge, it's yeah. going to ruin my fucking night, OK? <laughs> right, Jose, obviously come back with the right result, yes? I don't know what it is. Yeah. Ooh, it sounds... No, it's quite crunchy, isn't it? Mm, definitely cinnamon. If it turned up looking like that on my yeah. plate in a restaurant, I don't think I'd be very it's impressed. Nice. It's, it's, it's Chocolate just seems in clumps. It's very crunchy. <laughs> it's still pretty soft. Looks a bit to me like scrambled egg. It's a lot, I'd say, fluffier than the darker one. Mm, I think the fruit in there is lovely. <laughs> right, Jose. So how did it go? Five nil. What was it? Well, I have to say the lime bows. Come on! The Who was it? I have to say Gordon. Was. Oh yes! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Excellent. Well, right. Yours, Gordon, very much the chocolate flavour and no. the sweetness. Yes. But they did so like the, the fruit in Kate's one as well. So what was the score? <laughs> Four one. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, we got one. I can't huh? blame them. No. That's not bad. You know that. It's not that good. It's not that bad. Yes. Mm, Don't worry. I've got okay. a really nice present. Way. That's just me. <laughs> it's a lovely picture of Fiona. Bedtime. Yes. Fuck off back to your sofa. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Well done, my darling. Back Four to one. <laughs> hip 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 hooray! <laughs> oh my god. Next on the menu. It's time for the news. The Guru Murthys find out if they've got the result they were hoping for. So, the number of customers paying out of 50. And lager expert Kate Garraway proves her metal. <laughs> 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 
Welcome back to the F Word. Time to find out what the diners thought of their Zabaglioni. Right. How was the dessert? I enjoyed it personally. Yeah, I thought the basil couldn't be they could have been cut better than it was. <laughs> Quite long. <laughs> what do you like? Chopped finely, I think it would have been nice. Um, like I said, it was quite sloppily. If it's that long, it gets caught in your teeth and it's. it's so not fucking chew it. <laughs> <laughs> One day you won't have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, who let him in? <laughs> oh, holy mackerel. Hi, Kate. Hello. How are you, darling? Enjoying the food? Lovely food, yes. thank you very much. Um, you're not drinking wine tonight? Yeah. No, I'm not. I don't really drink wine. No. I don't like the taste of it that much. I don't know a lot about it, but mm -hmm. I know a lot about lager. Right. So I tend to stick to that, and I get, don't get hangovers with lager. This one's really nice, actually. Yeah, it's very nice, one of your favourites. Yeah. You clearly love your lager. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to put you to the test to see how much you know about it. All yes. right. Now, I don't want you pissed. OK. OK, so small sips. Yes, all right. Right, Jose, try these, and tell me which one you prefer. OK. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that one is lager, is it? Honestly, they're both lager. Try the other one. Well, I like that one. So, number two... Yes. The one you prefer... Yes. ...is the Asda, <laughs> one of the cheapest lagers in the country. Well, there's something wrong with that. 23 pence a can. I may be cheap, but I'm fun. The one you didn't like mm. is the world's most expensive <laughs> lager. Carlsberg, Jakobic, vintage number one. They only I'm ever sorry. made 600 bottles of these. That's just a Do you know how much this costs? Nonsense. 204 again. fucking pounds I'm so glass. sorry. OK, next. God, right. Will the humiliation ever end? Which one of these two do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. Yes. I wouldn't send that back. No. Mm. Mm, I thought that was going to taste all hoppy. I think I'd pick number one, yeah. The one that you prefer? Champagne lager. One of the refined glasses of lager. Just yeah? when you really think nice. I'm a bit yes. of an old slapper. Made with champagne yeast. I come out with yeah. class. The one you didn't like? Yeah. Mamma Mia pizza beer. Yeah, it's disgusting, yeah. yeah. Tomato, bottle. oregano, basil why, and garlic Why would anybody bother to put oregano and lager? You don't need to do well, things like beer. that. Don't Smell. mess about. Eat the pizza with the no. lager. Don't put it in it. It's silly. Can't, can't miss it. You pulled it back at the end. Thank Only you. one more thing to go. Every true lager lover in the country, in fact, in the world, yeah. should know how to do this. Oh. Stand up. Oh. Oh. This is the Yarnavel. Yes. yes. It holds about 1.7 litres. Now, this okay. man is an expert. Right. Yes. He <laughs> loves drinking beer, as you can see. Uh, Guy, give us a quick is demonstration. Is it to do with the twirling? And... Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. So, the important amazing. thing is to actually twist the glass. And he got a is... tube down the back. Uh, it's not coming out the back, there, is it, Guy? No. <laughs> It's really uh, important at this point to start twisting the glass. To yeah. think the world record holder, the Gizbo record records, yeah, does this in five seconds. That is uh, guys, amazing. Guys, no rush, OK? Take your time. Very, very impressive. That releases the air and it stops the sort of, you know, payback at the end. God, I want to marry you. That's really uh, impressive. <laughs> you really doing get, it, it, uh, there, nearly there, nearly there. That was amazing. <laughs> So, quite... take your time. <laughs> You're a hero to every female in the country. Come on. <laughs> right, come on. Don't worry, you don't have to drive home. Okay. Mm. Um, oh. <laughs> Cat. So much... Cat. Cat. You haven't even started. Oh, my God, I've been drinking in a wet T-shirt. Yeah, you started off well. Right. Three, okay. two, one. OK. Oh. Take your time. <laughs> Let me have a little go. It's really hard, honestly. It's a lot harder. Oh, we all just cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I feel pissed. Holy crap. Right, Jose. Let's go. OK, Ravi, how do you think you did? I think we did pretty well in that last course. Yes. Was right. Great speed, great teamwork, finally, yes, when we split you two buggers up. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think we did. Much, much better and much, much happier with it. Yeah. If they don't want to pay for it, they're miserable so-and-so. Yes. <laughs> so, the number of customers paying out of 50... 37 out of 50. Oh. <laughs> That's more than double your main. <laughs> Listen, great start, 46 out of 50. Brilliant. 18 out of 50 for main. Yeah. That is shit. Excuse me. <laughs> Dessert, yes? 37 out of 50. Good. 
combined, you've got 101 out of 150. Sadly, that's not good enough to be the best brigade. We worked as a team, it showed you bonded and united, yes? And we've learned a and huge talked. amount. We have. Yes. Yeah. Are you proud of them? Yes, I am. Yes? Yeah. I'm proud of you all. Well done, yes? Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, out of the kitchen, get yourself a drink, yes? <laughs> Mr. Gilmore, I think you're high five, please. Well done, my darling. Hey, Thanks a lot. Well done, well done. Well done, well done, well done.